Hi guys, this is Berrydesk. I'm going to give you guys a quick demo of how to use Berrydesk. So first here you're inside your dashboard and you're in your workspace and you can just see overall how many agents you have, how many messages done per month, credits used and the team members that you have for this workspace. Now, how do we create agents? So I've already created one for you, but if you wanted to create, just go into agents, create an agent over here, enter a particular name. So I've created for a sample demo website called Email Jet. This is the website over here. It's just transactional email API built for developers. So I have a lot of content on this website and about the product, the SMTP API, template builder, web books, etc. And the pricing uh, details as well and some FAQs. So this is the website that we are going to train our bot on, our agent on, and we're going to deploy it on, onto this. I've already set things up, so I'm just going to quickly go through the um, the agents, configurations, and everything. So let's get right into it. Go inside of the agents, and first you're greeted with the conversations screens. So here, this is a list of conversations with, you can see different channels mentioned, Discord, Slack, or even website, wherever it is deployed. And here you can see there are uh, the details of the conversation, the exact history of what the user uh, actually message and then what did the agent reply back so you have all this uh, information right here and some conversation extra details some metadata about the conversation we'll be adding more items to it like ip address and uh, if, if you you could even connect it with your uh, website through email or something and yeah so where do you actually configure the agent and where do you like you know play around with it for testing so that's in the studio Inside the studio on the left, you have the configure screen and on the right, you have the playground screen. So here you can see this is the playground. This is how the actual widget is going to look like on the website when deployed. So this is a place where you can both look at the design aspect of things and also uh, look at the output that is coming from the uh, agent. So here you can see there are some settings that you can set up, some initial messages. You can have multiple initial messages as well. If I just say hi, hello on the next line, you can see it comes over there. And you notice the moment I have some change, I have a discard and a save button right there. And then some suggested messages. So really quick uh, questions that are the most popular that get asked. Rate limits just for security purposes. And then the AI part of it. So here we are using GPT-40. I would suggest GPT-40 or GPT-5.1. They are the best. Uh, quick and high quality responses. So, and you can see the various models that we have currently. We have some open source models as well for you guys to use. And then the, the cost associated with it, which is the number of credits uh, per message uh, of that model. So, for example, Opus is 20 credits per message because it's that expensive of a model. And yeah, that's where you can set up your model, temperature if needed, and some preset uh, system instructions, or you can change it uh, yourself as well if, if needed. And then styling. Now, this is something really cool. Uh, what you can do over here is you can specify your website. So let's say we specify firecrawl.dev. And just to show you guys how the website looks like, this is the website. And you can see the orange is really popping over there, orange and white. So let's extract it. It takes around 15 seconds to extract, but overall it's pretty decent and pretty cool. It just pulls out all the data, the exact hex codes of the primary color and the accent colors. So here you can see, you can manually set it as well, but if you really want to get it up and running quickly, you can just uh, do the extract, uh, use the extract feature as well. And let's just give it two seconds. And there you go. And now the primary colors are fetched. Even if I just type, this color is also updated. The uh, chat bubble color is also updated. So now let's try some message uh, over here. So let's just ask what is email jet and let's see what the response comes. So here you can see there's a loader. This is when the data is fetched off the from the bot. The, uh, the agent has some information and I'll show you guys how to set that up as well. But there you go. This is how it is and you can see the message is also uh, having the primary color of firecrawl. So really cool and I have not saved it here. So I'm just going to discard it for now. And let's just go back to the email jet colors. And yeah, uh, that's 
pretty much it about the playground. Uh, you can also upload files, by the way. That's also accepted by the agent and it will be able to answer uh, upon that as well. Now, how do you actually set the agent up? So that's where the data sources comes into play. Inside over here, you have four options. So website, files, text, and Q&A. In, 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 in website, you can basically add pages from your own website. So just enter your website and it'll fetch all the pages. You can mention how many max pages to crawl as well. So it'll actually figure out all the pages that are there in your website and pick them up. And yeah, uh, sitemap, individual page, and you can specify multiple URLs over here. So if you just want to uh, fetch very particular data. And once that's into the queue to get extracted, uh, the uh, Benidesk will just run it in the background and will extract it for you. So here you can see I have 22 trained pages. And you can actually click here and see which pages are trained. So here you can see all these pages are trained and what their extracted content is. You can see all that as well. So now once this is trained, it's actually inside the knowledge base of the agent so that it can look at this data, check it in in in, in relation to the prompt that the user did and will give you the appropriate answer. You can also upload files. So here you see I've uploaded from Google Drive. You can add either local files or you can upload for, from Google Drive and Notion. You can connect your account and you can upload it. Now, Manage Connections is also there. So I have my Google Drive connected. Hence, I will be able to open the picker. But let me show you uh, the Notion uh, setup. So if it's not connected. So it just opens up your Notion, shows you a consent screen and to select the pages. So I have an email jet page uh, ready for you guys. And I do allow access. So you can give very specific access and then it opens uh, a picker and you do import one page and there you go. And it's already trained. So you can see trained uh, two, two files and I have just another file, uh, for example. You can also see the size of the file and over here on the top, it's a very useful tool. You can actually see the training data storage. On free plan, you have 500 KB allowed and you can see how much you have used, how many files, how many pages, how many text snippets and the total items and total storage over here. Let's go to text. Very simple. Just enter some text. It's markdown based. So you can actually uh, set up your entire, uh, like uh, you can do whatever formatting you want. You can add links over here and all that uh, information the agent picks up. If you put some link, it will actually show in the message as well. So that's really, really cool uh, behavior by the agent. And for the Q&A, just some Q&A, some patterns that you see that the uh, customers are asking, some common questions that the customers are asking. You can essentially add like variations of the question and then the answer uh, for that question. So like return policy or shipping policy, things like that. And analytics, this is just where you see how many conversations, positive feedback, negative feedback. So the person on the website can actually do a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And I'll show you guys that behavior as well. And just top pages, countries, we're going to add this uh, feature as well pretty soon. Leads is not there, but it's going to be added soon. It's going to be an action that the agent actually does, which is uh, help you with the pre-sales and actually collect information on behalf of you so that you can... Uh, you can just leave the bot on your website and it will keep collecting data for your like leads for you. And then deployment. So right now for this, uh, for, for currently we have like four in uh, integrations or channels and uh, chat bubble. So that's where you take your script or your iframe. You can even whitelist websites or pages and uh, the position it uh, appropriately. And then you can put it on a particular website. Take that script and give it to your uh, IT person or if you know how to set it up, you can set it up yourself. Full page is something really cool as well, which we are working on. This is going to be very useful for internal purposes as well. So here you can uh, have, instead of the chat bubble, it's kind of like your own uh, chat interface, full screen chat interface. Now, Slack and Discord. So we actually have that working and you can see I've connected the two uh, servers, but if you are not uh, connected, it's quite simple. You just have to disconnect and let's say, sorry, there you go. And let's say you connect it, your Discord is open, it'll prompt you which server you want to uh, install it on, authorize all this. Click on that, just two clicks, three clicks, and your Discord is connected. 
and it's already installed for you on your Discord as well. So and Slack, it's pretty much the same thing. So let me show you guys how it looks on Slack and Discord. So let's see. Oh, this is our Discord. I've already added, uh, created a general channel. Embedded desk is here. You can restrict the bot to only be replying in certain channels, by the way. That's just Discord rules or Slack rules. And uh, yeah, let's just ask what is uh, email jet. And there you go. Instantly, it creates a threat for you. And it's right now thinking, looking at all the data and uh, analyzing uh, what it needs to say. And there you go. That's the response. And you saw there's a nice uh, typing uh, uh, notification as well on the bottom. So there you go. Uh, it'll respond to you right there. And you can even continue the uh, chat right here. So what is the pricing? And um, note, you don't have to tag the agent again over here. You can just continue like a normal uh, message without tagging. And you see, Veridesk is actually talking. So give it a second and it'll pull up all the data and it'll show it to you right there. There you go. So pay as you go, monthly plans, free tier. It's giving all the information about uh, uh, about the pricing that it picked up from the website. Now, the same will also be for Slack. So let's see over here. I have an Ask AI channel. We have added Berry Desk. So here I'm just going to type at Berry Desk. And uh, what is email jet? And it's the same behavior of creating a thread. So instantly you have a thread created and uh, you get like at least an acknowledgement that Berrydesk is thinking about the message that you have prompted it. And there you go. In a couple of seconds, the reply is right there. And it's the same behavior here as well that you can just ask it, what is the pricing? And also, how do I set up SPF and DKIM? Just let's just add some more data. Because it's also formatted according to Slack and Discord's formatting. So let's see if it does the uh, code information. It shares the code uh, coding formatting as well properly. But there you go, it does. So some code snippet is there. And it shared that clearly, setting up DKIM, setting up SPF. This is the data that is actually existing on the docs or on the doc screens of email jet. And yeah. Now, the same thing, I can I can do it on the website as well. So here you go, email jet. And let's just do a new thing. How much does it cost? All right. Let's just click here. It's right on the website. You can configure if it's left or right side. Colors also change instantly the moment you change it on the dashboard. There you go. And now, this is the cool part. So let's say you upvote over here. If you go back to the conversations, now you see Slack, Discord, and the website and you can see the upvote right there so yeah pretty pretty cool stuff now this is the free plan so if you wanted you could just go to plans and upgrade over here you have some other options of additional agents message credits removing the branding etc that you can buy you can invite your members as well so you can actually just send uh you can collaborate together on onto the platform if you have, let's say, some support staff that wants to access this. You can create new workspaces so that you can segregate agents completely by your subsidiaries of the companies. And uh, yeah, and analytics, overall analytics I showed you, and um, usage as well. So usage, just overall, how many credits you have consumed, how much storage, and yeah, more more items coming over here as well. And in billing, you'll have your invoices show up over here and any billing settings that you can do that is by desk for you i hope you guys uh, like it and let me know your feedback thank you